Joshua Bafetu. In today's lesson, we're going to be doing organic chemistry, part one, introduction of homologous series. And let's go right into the definitions. So, sino organic chemistry, we say this is the study of organic carbon compounds. Then we have homologous series, a group of organic compounds with the same general formula where each member differs from the previous by a CH2 group. Then sibino functional group, this is an atom or group of atoms attached to a carbon chain that describes the physical and chemical properties of an organic compound. Hydrocarbons, these are compounds that consist of hydrogen and carbon atoms only. Saturated hydrocarbon, these are hydrocarbons in which all carbon to carbon bonds are single bonds, meaning we have single bonds between our carbon atoms. Unsaturated hydrocarbons, we say these are hydrocarbons with double or triple bonds between the carbon atoms. Then our isomer, these are organic compounds with the same molecular formula but different structural formulae. So as C says, check up one homologous series, different homologous series, the functional group example, and also a general formula. So starting off, cinealkane, which is characterized by a single bonds between the carbon atoms. So so one and a single bonds between the carbon atoms. Then our examples are methane, ethane, propane, which we can see here the suffix of the homologous series name is actually the suffix of the chemical names here, right? Then our general formula it's CN H two N plus two, meaning for example if we have two carbon atoms, then how many hydrogen atoms we have? It's six because it's what two times two four plus two about six lawyer okay. then the general formula actually tells you of the proportion a a a a a a law the proportion of the elements in that particular compound then the next one we have alkene which is characterized by the double bonds between the carbon atoms so we born a double bond elena then the examples is ethane propane butene also here you can see the suffix is the suffix of the chemical names then the general formula is cn h2n meaning for whatever number of carbons you have you have double the number of hydrogens then you you have um the dead one your alkyne which is characterized by a triple bond between the carbon atoms so once you see triple bond between carbon atoms you know it's alkyne then the examples are your propyne butyne pentyne so you can see also here is suffix yako becomes the suffix of the chemical names then your general formula is like that so do not confuse it with the one year alkane here it's actually cn h2n minus two so pay attention to the general formula it helps you to identify um the 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 homologous series in which a particular compound belongs in then this three the alkane alkane and alkyne they're collectively known as amahydrocarbon why because they only consist of amahydrogen and carbon atoms so you only see that then your alkane alkane we say this is a saturated compound because the single bond between carbon atoms as we've stated in the previous slide then alkane and alkyne this um we say they're unsaturated compounds because they have multiple bonds between the carbon arm atoms so here you can see alkene double bond alkyne triple bond so those are multiple bonds unsaturated then sibenobani the haloalkane haloalkane they are also known as alkyl halides so you will see they are characterized by halogen bonded to carbon atoms i'm a halogen these are your group 17 um elements so or your group uh, roman figure seven from your periodic table right then you have abotlorine abobromine abofluorine and so on but then mostly for the haloalkanes we use chlorine and bromine and when we put them here it's a chloro bromo so you can see with the examples chlorobutane bromo ethane and two dash bromo propane then your general formula appears like that cn h2n plus one and then the x here which the x is actually stands for the halogen because the halogen can either be a chlorine or a bromine right so we just represent it as x then we have e alcohol alcohol 
has a functional group which has a name hydroxyl group then abo example it's methanol ethanol and propanol which you can see here the suffix also we continue with the trend of the suffix all which is the suffix of the chemical names here so you can see that then the general formula is cn h2n plus one oh so what is this oh this oh is actually this hydroxyl group so this um particular compound is an alcohol so once you see this oh then you know it's alcohol then it can also be expressed in this form ch cn h2n plus 2 which this plus 2 comes from adding this hydrogen a1 and plus 1 and it becomes plus 2 and then oxygen right then we have aldehyde aldehyde also the functional group has a name it's formal group then the examples are your propanal butanal pentanal which you will see here with it does not take the trend with e suffix ibe the suffix of the name but actually what's interesting is that the prefix here the prefix is actually the suffix of the chemical names so you can see it's aldehyde and then here you have propanal so you see the suff the the prefix is the suffix now butanal and pentanal so the general formula is cn h2n and oxygen here this oxygen pay pay attention it's double bonded to the first carbon here so for the aldehyde always this double bond oxygen has to be on the first carbon always then here for the ketone we have the functional group its name is carbonyl group then um, the examples are your propanone butantone pentantone so also the chain continues ketone then the suffix um, becomes the suffix of the chemical names as you can see here then it has the same general formula as the aldehyde but then the difference how will you know the difference between an aldehyde and a ketone um the double bond here your oxygen it's on the central carbon atom so that means the double bond the the carbon with the double bond oxygen has to be in between other carbon atoms so it has to be in between the mapagat and wamanyama carbon atoms then we have a carboxylic acid which a functional group yayo it's carboxyl group it's easy that one because you can actually get it from the name carboxylic acid the functional group is carboxyl group then our examples are your ethanoic acid propanoic acid butanoic acid which comes from the suffix here ik but they add o I don't know maybe to give it a flow ethanoic acid propanoic acid butanoic acid then the general formula is cnh2no2 which is not to be confused with the aldehyde in the ketone general formula this one actually has two oxygen atoms so pay attention to that then the last one but not the least is esters which is actually a combination of the alcohol and carboxylic acid you can even see with the examples the names here we have imethyl ethanoid which actually comes from e methanol the alcohol methanol and the carboxylic acid ethanoic acid so how do you deal with this so from me from the alcohol it was methanol you deal away with the anode and then you put yl it becomes methyl then the ethanoid comes from ethanoic acid you deal away with the oic acid you put o weight so now it becomes methyl ethanoid combination of methanol and ethanoic acid this one ethyl methanoic combination of ethanol and methanoic acid so it becomes ethyl methanoid general formula still the same as the one of the carboxylic acid so that means if you have compound